Hey guys, so today we are looking at grails upon grails of MetaZoo. I assume based on how much money these cards I want went for, that these are the equivalent of the best cards in MetaZoo you could ever get. Now, first and foremost, I am not a stranger to dead card games. If you watch this channel, you know I love free dead card games. Two, I really, really love. And the other one, you know, it's just hard to get inventory of it. It is very, very hard to get the amounts of the product uh, in today's market because the games have been dead. So talking about Inuyasha TCG, game died 20 years ago. Uh, packs were as low as 10 cents a pack. Now they've gone back up and they're really hard to find because as you can imagine, the game died 20 years ago. It is not likely, you know, to really find any high-end in Yasha cards, and the liquidity of the market is near zero. So even though these cards are being buy it now on eBay, which is what I hate, although those cards are being, you know, very expensive, no one's actually buying it, and that's not good. When no one buys the card, you, regardless of liquidity, ill liquidity, um, there's actually no real price gauge, right? Like I said, cards like Rudy promos, they got to sell in volume for a true price, a true market price to be established. If a card is only selling once every year, that's not the true card price. That's just kind of a random auction. A lot of things can happen there. Now, one thing I want to really, really emphasize here is I regret not buying more. Uh, these products were really cheap, like MetaZoo right now is very cheap, and what I don't regret buying, so what I most regret buying isn't like the booster boxes and the, that was fun. I regret buying the one on one promos, the signed autographs. That stuff later on, people will put it, but they're not putting it to sell. They're just putting it to show that they have it on eBay. Something like Alpha Investment does, right? He puts it to show that he's this uh, baller, right? But he has no intention to sell it because he's listed it 10 times over its what I would assume is its true price, market price, if it actually went to auction. So a $100 card and then you also go to auction, the person owning a card will buy it now, list it by now with best offer for like $10,000. That's just the state of a dead card game is that there are very, very unique pieces, but they're not going to auction. They never go to auction. So... It, it's hard to buy them. You know, it's hard to justify, okay, I'm paying XYZ more money and, and I'm, what am I getting? I'm not getting all that much more. It is very, very hard to justify buying uh, and spending that type of money on a collectible item that you know is way over. The buy it now doesn't even make any sense. So the other games I play, Meta X, uh, Fire Emblem Cypher. Fire Emblem Cypher died three years ago, I believe. And I missed the opportunity to buy. So these, like, I think Meta X died maybe five or six years ago. So actually, I can give you a, a history of exactly what's going to happen to MetaZoo because I know uh, it from the other free card games. Once MetaZoo dies, after two years, any of the rare inventory will dry up. There won't be these grails hitting the auction. There won't be these collections. There won't be as much of that. Maybe in a, in a blue moon, you'll see a lot or something like that or a Kickstarter Mothman sample, something like that. But it won't be very common, because that's what's happening in Fire Emblem Cypher. And people will begin just really kind of flexing their collection. They're not interested in selling the collection. They're just interested in flexing that they own these cards, and then they'll put the uh, buy it now at a ridiculous price point. None of them are actually sellers, which is very frustrating, because I'm trying to buy, and... Again, there are no actual sellers. There's only what I would assume are flexors of the product. Let's put it that way. So then you have uh, five years from now, like uh, Meta X. Uh, you have you know, Meta X is not Meta Zoo. It's actually a DC by Panini. And, and if you could knock Panini, you know what a shimmer is. Well, all their foils are shimmer using the Panini technique. And I would actually surmise that the shimmer is actually better looking than even the panini shimmer 
So right now there's a 2018 PSA 10 Pop 1 Meta X Batman the World's Finest Foil for $625, our best offer. Um, you got the Nullet Foil, Graded Foil. So you, you have a lot of people just uh, Harley Quinn, which I have probably 50 copies of. Uh, is PSA 10, the only one that ever graded, is $450, the best offer. Super Superman, which is like the uncommon Superman, is only $79. But like you can see what's happening here is people who have the cards, there's very little demand for the card now five years later, but the people who have the cards are getting them graded and they're charging astronomical amounts of money by now. Then when you get to Inuyasha, you, you, you don't even see no cards, man. None of the Inuyasha cards, none of the promos. The promo sets go for hundreds of dollars that I used to pay like less than a dollar for. Like Inuyasha cards are just crazy and they're hard to come by. I bought a lot recently. It was like 200, 300 packs of uh, Jackie, which is a Inuyasha set and... The guy couldn't let it get away, man. I mean, I was like, holy shit, man. If I don't buy this, the next time I'll see a lot, I'll see 200, 300 packs of Inuyasha. It's like, never. All right, click, click, click. Bye, 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 bye. So what you will see is just people selling junkie cards. So it's actually even worse than before. Oh, here's a bid. You know, one day left. Maybe I should bid on this. I think this guy really wants it, though. I don't really know who's bidding against me. But people are bidding. There, there are Inuyasha fans out there bidding against me. So it's not like, oh, I just put in a bid and I win it. No, that that's unfortunately not true. Uh, and then the bids get pretty crazy. So this is the best time to buy MetaZoo. Like, you know how Rudy Chan said, oh, the best time to buy MetaZoo was when I'm selling it to you for $8,200? No, $8,200 in MetaZoo... Gets you all the grails we basically see today. It gets you 10 Meta Zoo Moth plus more. PSA 10 grails. Like you can easily get, you know, on average, you know, whatever. So if you are willing to spend $8,200 on Meta Zoo back when out for, for basically five kits. Let's not kid ourselves. That is pretty terrible. If you are willing to spend that money then, you telling me, and, and you love cryptids, and you're a big fan and big defender of this, you're telling me you're not going to spend this money now when the cards are literally, you for $8,200, you can make a collection of light, and you will regret it. You know, so I, I'm not a MetaZoo fan, right? But I do know that it will dry up. I do know that um, supply will dry up sometime soon because it always dries up. Um, the same things happen with Fire Emblem right now. Everything is very dry. And there's one or two people with large collections. And they really don't have any intention to sell. Let me tell you what happens. Um, they just keep their cards and they drive traffic to their eBay page from it. It's exactly what Rudy does. 